Boom. Hey guys, it's Sid with SVTPerformance.com. I'm down in sunny Florida at VMP Performance with Justin, the man himself. He's got a few new products to show us. It's already set up on your SEMA display because you guys just showed this off and I guess it's going to be at PRI. But the last time we were down here, I'm thinking this is probably what, like a year or so ago? Yeah, yeah. We showed off the prototype, the first number one of this bracket that they've come out with. So. I call this the Atlas bracket because Atlas is holding up the world, in this case, the supercharger pulley. And um, this was a really important innovation for our Odin supercharger system. Um, you know, we sell the kit with a really big honking pulley, nearly that big. Belt wrap's not an issue. However, when you pulley down to the 2.4, you want to be able to get belt wrap like this. So the Atlas bracket allows you to do just that. Now this setup also has our eight rib kit for the 18 to 22 Mustang with the Odin supercharger system. This is a really cool kit uh, because it is simple and it just flat out works. We have had customers make 1100 rear wheel horsepower with this kit and an Odin supercharger system. The heart of the kit is the ATI balancer. This is the 10% version that comes standard with the kit. From there, of course, we've got the Atlas bracket, which part of the beauty of this stuff is that you can buy Atlas and install it when you still have the six rib system and then still reuse it when you convert to eight rib or 10 rib. And really from there, it's just a better tensioner, an eight rib AC clutch, an eight rib idler pulley, and the correct length belt. And it just flat out works. Um, some of the unique things about this kit there's a lot of stuff that you discover during the R&D process. One of the things we figured out very early on was we wanted a better balancer design than our previous kits. So we were able to work directly with ATI. They had a new balancer design coming out. We were able to add some of our tweaks to it. This is based on all the 2020 GT500 stuff, which uh, the way that balancer desi is designed, it is lighter and it has all of the mass in the balancer closer to the front main bearing. And this is just for crankshaft durability, which can be an issue with these high horsepower coyotes. It, personally, my opinion is, is that people let the bolt come loose and that is the start of the failure. Yeah, and you know, we learned a lot of lessons on those terminators about supporting the cranks now. Yeah, yeah. So, which by the way, I do not think is necessary with a Coyote when you have the proper balancer, you have the proper bolt and torque on that bolt because that whole assembly is keeping the crankshaft sprocket tight as well. And we know crankshaft sprockets fail on these cars if you don't upgrade them. Um, another big thing with the Odin eight rib kit, we chose for the base kit to be an eight rib because we can use a factory 2020 GT500 AC clutch pulley and that is a Ford part that just works beautifully and is not that expensive. Pretty much any mechanic can set that up and shim it to work correctly. Um, same thing goes with the uh, tensioner here. We offer a billet version, but this cast aluminum version works really, really well. Uh, it's really reliable. Um, we include a double bearing idler with it here. So one of the innovations in this system is I was able to design it so it uses the same idler here, here, and here. Idlers are nearly indestructible. They use a double row bearing and that basically prevents the idler pulley from walking and keeps the belt from walking off. So if you ever have a belt alignment issue, it's because something didn't get bolted down straight uh, somewhere in the Fiat system or uh, get this, your crankshaft pulley is not all the way on. Have seen mm -hmm. that happen many times. Being a very consumer centric company, a lot of our customers install the parts themselves. And we were to the point where we were trying to understand what are the common installation issues and either first engineer around them if we can. And secondly, give the customers guidance that make sure this is on all the way. Because if you have this problem, we pretty much know it's always because of X. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great that you guys have that experience that you can build into your products and just continually improve all of that and take out that guesswork that, like you said, if somebody calls in as having an issue, you know how to just pin it down because you've, you've developed it on these cars. You've seen these issues pop up. So I really like how uh, you, this is all 
basically upgradable as you go. You don't have to go whole hog if you don't want to in the beginning. If you want to stick with the six rib setup, you can upgrade to an eight rib or 10 rib as you go. You don't have to buy everything at once and you don't have to throw away everything just because you want to make an upgrade. Yeah, I mean, we sell this as a kit on the website and it, we sell it as a kit and as an upgrade package. And the upgrade package is designed if you already bought um, like the Atlas bracket and you just need the other components. The full kit is like you never had a Fiat system to begin with. So it literally is everything in one package. And really the reason I did that is because people can see the bill of materials and they can order the individual parts a la carte yeah. like you were talking about. You know, I'll, I'll tell you really the hot ticket if you're still on six rib is to use this tensioner. It, it's incredibly strong, has good range. And to use this adjustable bracket and then use one of the GripTech pulleys. We are stocking GripTech pulleys for all VMP superchargers, um, all rib sizes, 2.9 inch and below because the GripTech stuff just flat out works. And, and it's not so much that, yes, it grips the belt better, it puts less heat into the belt. So the life goes up drastically. Yeah. So you're not glazing over the belt, causing you to have more slip issues. So that's a pretty good, uh, a little bit of information there so you can get by with the six rib a little bit longer uh, but eventually when you really want to step yeah. up and make some I mean, power you can make 900 with a six rib which yeah. i just think it's an incredible time to mm -hmm. live right now and when you want to go farther you do the full eight rib mm -hmm. and um, there's also a way to build a 10 rib kit a la carte yeah. uh, technically we're going to see that in a second so speaking of 10 rib move around the display to the predator side of things a little bit different over here. A little bit different, a lot of similarities too. And that's why I tried to design this stuff, and, and I believe I succeeded at it, to have a lot of common parts. Um, this is the same ATI balancer infrastructure, but in a 10 rib version and also in a 20% overdrive. This is that billet tensioner that I spoke of. These are these special idler pulleys with the double row bearing. We use those as much as possible. Um, also, the, uh, the slidey functionality to affect belt wrap here. Now, our, I call this the Predator Claw Bracket because it is all about gripping the belt. And our take on it is a little bit different. Uh, there are products out there like this, but they attach to the supercharger nose drive. I made ours differently. So the customer has flexibility in the supercharger that they run. Um, our upcoming upgrade for the Predator doesn't have this same bolt pattern. So we couldn't attach there. We had to attach to the front cover. And, and through this whole design process, we actually looked at a bunch of stuff. This big idler that Ford puts here from the factory, it's, it's kind of odd. Um, it, it is not how really any other supercharger system is routed. And it was good for Ford but they never really designed you, Ford really never designed the system to have a smaller pulley put on it because it comes with a three inch from the factory. And once you start going smaller, the wrap goes to shit until you do one of these idlers up here. The other thing that this idler position causes is the wrap is not very good on the balancer. So we added another idler pulley to improve the wrap on the balancer drastically. And on the, you can't see it right now, but on the back side of this bracket, there's actually two different hole positions uh, for a 10% and a 20% overdrive. Oh, you can see them back there? No, you can't. I was just pointing out okay. like where they would be is like right here. Yeah. Um, but so if you just use your imagination though, if this pulley wasn't here, this belt is gonna come off at this angle. You're gonna lose all of this basically extra belt wrap. So in, in the, a couple inches, off the pulley basically. Yeah, and the wrap is actually worse with a stock diameter balancer because it's only about the size of this accessory ring. Yeah. Um, so another big, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, this was a big weakness of our previous eight and 10 rib kits for the Coyote was the AC clutch pulley. And we spent a ton of time re-engineering and testing the AC clutch pulley. And with the way the modern vehicles are now, there's not just one AC clutch pulley. There's actually three different ones we have to offer for Gen 1 and Gen 2 Coyote, for Gen 3 Coyote, which is basically Predator, and for 18-up F-150, because it has a unique 
AC clutch. So we are now working with Grip Tech to put an additional friction surface on the face of this AC clutch. Um, in testing, we actually did not need it, but I wanted it there for extra assurance because as soon as this interface starts to slip, it gets hot and the bearing fails and everything goes downhill. And we just saw too many failures with our previous generation kits, so we engineered the hell out of this new one. And you mentioned this one has the aluminum tensioner on it. Is this provide more spring pressure than the it, standard cast one? Yeah, so you know, this is a this is a Predator. It's a factory eight rib. The Odin we looked at earlier was as factory six rib. Um, you can kind of basically like shift the parts over there, you mm -hmm. know, uh, so the tensioner we use with the Odin eight rib kit is actually the factory 2020 GT500 tensioner. Um, so we want to offer a better part with this. So we offer one of our billet tensioners this has more spring pressure, more travel. Odin with an eight rib really doesn't need a whole lot more. Um, it's adequate, but for the power that is being made with these Predators, they need all the spring tension you can get. Um, when a belt is like snap, like a gorilla just pulled it apart, that is actually from not having enough spring pressure or enough travel on your tensioner setup because on a transition, the belt actually goes slack for a second, and when it comes back, it, it pops. So you need a strong enough tensioner that can keep up with that belt and never let it go slack. These are all the things you find yeah. out. <laughs> and then of course, like you said, this is the 10 rib setup, so you're changing this pulley and uh, the AC clutch pulley, of course, and then you have your 10 rib setup for this, uh, for the Predator blower itself, and you guys are doing some parts commonality there as well, aren't you? Yeah, so these are actually the pulleys off of our older uh, GT500 supercharger system, and there is just a unique hub and a spacer that gives it the right alignment for the Predator 10 rib system. Just one of those things we're trying to do to keep the uh, keep from having too many variations of parts in the parts bin. And I guess if some guy went from an older GT500 to a new one, he can hang on to his VMP pulleys. There, and yeah, in some cases you can, yeah. yeah. Um, one of the things too is this, this uh, Predator claw bracket system. You can buy this and you can install this with the factory eight rib. Um, a lot of people are using our upgraded billet tensioner with the factory eight rib. So when you're ready to go 10 rib, you just need this, this, and this. Yeah. And of course the pulley system. And really, this is probably the most expensive part of that whole setup is the new dampener is. Yeah. It? So. And, and I'll just add, you know, this is on our website. It's like 839. The big thing with the new dampener is you need to have a tensioner that has a smaller idler pulley on it. You can buy that idler pulley for the factory tensioner. And then the accessory belt tensioner, we have a different one here that's 299 that gives you the additional clearance for the 20% and the 10% overdrive. If you're gonna order it, probably, uh, I don't wanna put words in your mouth here. If I was gonna order it, I'm gonna go for the 20% one just to get the biggest pulley I possibly can on here. There's, yes, you're, you're correct. Right. Um, that's usually a pretty good strategy, especially if you're gonna go between pump and E85. There, you know, talking to some of the tuner shops that use Whipple a lot, they're gonna go with the 10% because they can only go so big on the upper pulley. Yeah, but you guys have some fairly large upper pulleys that you can put on. Yeah. And then then you get maximized belt wrap as possible. You've got the biggest pulley setup you possibly yes. get on. So yeah, you can tell this thing is pushing over quite a bit. <laughs> uh, if it, that was not there. <laughs> you know, you're gonna lose so much belt wrap everywhere without yeah. this. Yeah, I think I can demonstrate here how much worse the belt wrap is. Yeah, so. I mean, you're getting what, maybe on a three inch pulley, it's over three quarters of an inch more wrap out of it. it and that's a large percentage, you know, if you start yeah. figuring out these numbers. I mean, and that's that's factory. That's how Ford designed it because they said nobody's ever going to want smaller than a three inch pulley on yeah. it, right? So, yeah, that's potential power loss everywhere if you don't just wrap your belt. So, um, we actually had this inside the shop on our display engine we use for videos and stuff. I wanted to show you the AC bypass bracket. We have this bracket for six, eight, and 10 rib, and it works with Odin, eight rib, 10 rib, Gen 3R, eight rib, 10 rib. It is designed to allow you to run the supercharger belt with no AC compressor or AC pulley that would normally sit down here. 
because um, the AC actually functions as an idler in the supercharger belt system. So you, you gotta have either this bracket or the AC compressor. And this bracket's kind of neat because there's a lot of adjustability built into it to account for different belt lengths. Um, yeah, it's just a neat piece. It's an, an option we wanted to offer. Uh, it's also good if you have ground on your front cover. I have designed it to work with those front covers. Well, thanks for showing us all this fun stuff here. We've got a lot more from VMP coming up, so subscribe to the channel and head over to svtperformance.com. I've got a ton of pictures of all this stuff. I've got a nice write-up and everything, so if we left anything out here, it'll be answered over on SVTP, or if you want to order this stuff, give VMP a call. They've got a ton of guys in the shop ready to answer questions for you, take your orders, all that kind of stuff. As always, head over to svtperformance.com for all the latest news, reviews, and information on your favorite Ford-powered vehicles.